make the dynamics kind of cool on the hi-hat though. Just like in terms of the backbeat, you know, the big backbeat that Lars Ulrich kind of snap on the old snare. Huh? Woo! Lars, will you, you make the next couple versions a little more peppery off the top? Put a little more weight into it. If you want weight, I'm your fucking guy. Oh, wait for it now. Make us wait for it. Yeah. Get what? Jesus. I don't mind being the butt of jokes as long as they're as low as mine. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> well, there you go. I think we kind of all fessed up to the fact that we just needed to bring somebody else into our tightly knit organization and work with us in the studio. And the only name that actually ever came up was this guy named Bob Rock. So me and James flew up to Vancouver, hung out with him for a couple of days, and it was like the vibe was there right away. One of the first bands I ever did was a band called The Subhumans. Dimwit was the drummer. I think it was Brad yeah, Cunt playing guitar. Was, yeah. No, Brad Cunt was in Rabbit. No. Jerry Useless, who went to jail for 20 years for anarchy, he blew up a BC Hydro substation here. <laughs> Shithead was DOA. Who's the guitar player? Oh, uh, Subhumans, fuck. And then I did the Pointed Sticks, I did the Dills. The young Canadians, the K-Tells, they did Let's Go to Fucking Hawaii. Let's see, Lover Boy. Oh, uh, what's that, Rand? <laughs> the Motori Crew. Motori Crew. Motori Crew. Who's that? He's right. We're Lee gonna have to. Cold. We're gonna have to leave now. Well, we can't really write songs together. Over the tour, basically just get riffs here and there. Bring out the four track. I got this Fostex four track that I've had since '84 or something. There's, you know, ride the lightning riffs on it. You know, just gotta hit certain buttons. Just ride it. Also. <laughs> For instance, the the main riff in Sandman was was just something that I wrote one night, you know, three o'clock in the morning. That's how I come up with like a lot of the stuff that ends up on albums. Yeah, it's like it's just like jamming at, at three o'clock in the morning. And when it came time to start you know, getting songs together. Lars called me up and said, hey, this is a great riff you know, on your tape. I go, what, what are you talking about? And he played to me over the phone. I go, oh, yeah, I remember that. And that was only like the second or third time I'd ever listened to it. Bow, now, 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 now. And then the tail on it, I suggested that he do like three of the, so wow, now, 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 three of those. And then the tail.